Oh, and it's got fancy on it. <laughs> We're back to the 1880 permission and it's sprinkling. So I think I'm going to try the sniper coil first around the house. And I'm going to stay under this tree. Not much leaf cover, but we'll see what we can do. It's our first target. It's a horseshoe. That's our culture. Well, Right here, I dug all this out of there. It's a little piece of metal. And then I got these things. What the heck are those? I got two of them. And then I got this thing. And it's starting to rain again. Okay, this hole had three items in it. Some kind of piece of tin can or aluminum can that thing it's not really a staple I don't know what that is and a washer okay I am next to the 1880 permission on the 1830 to 50 permission finally I've been digging a ton of junk still over by these apple trees deep hole and I pulled out the first antique flat button Ooh, and it's got fancy on it <laughs> oh my god look at that isn't that beautiful and a funny looking shank Hold on, let me clean this up for a second. What a beauty. This is the prettiest flat button I've ever dug. Look at that. It's got a horn with a bow or something. Something hanging down and all those stars. And I'm trying to read this. Come on, focus. I can't read it. I'm going to have to take it home, clean it up some more, and study it. But the shank is there. It's just squished. But very nice heavy button. Rang up a 75 on the Technetics T2+. Plus. I am happy with that. Woohoo! The following day, I started to take a closer look at this button. I noticed it had 13 stars. So I opened up my military button book and started researching. And to my surprise, this ends up being a military button. It is a Federal Rifles Militia button used prior to 1840. This is my first button I found that is earlier than Civil War. Okay, I got a 7880 signal. And I have got a deep hole. Look at that. It's way down there. Put my pinpointer down there. Oh, it's still down there. Okay, let me see if I can Take it out. I left my gloves in the car. 
Okay, see if I got it. Didn't get it yet. Where is it? Oh, found it. Okay. It's right over here somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. What is that mean out of? What is it? Hold on a minute. Let me get my brush out and brush it off. Okay, I don't think it's silver. It's not very heavy. It's very light. It's got little bitty hearts on it. So that's cool. That was deep, though. I mean, shoot. Let's see. Let me set that there. Stick my pinpointer down there. It's every bit of my pinpointer plus a couple inches. That's how deep that was. Wow. But you got to remember, this was a plowed field here. So, you got apple trees and the 1880 house over there. Very cool. I love it. That deep hole there. And I pulled out a baby, an infant spoon handle. Look at that. That is so, that is old. Look at that. An infant spoon handle. I mean, it's bent in half. And it's probably two inches long, inch and three quarters. Very cool. I can't tell if there's any writing or not. It would be right in the crook of this thing. But it was broke a long time ago. Well, Ann's here with me. We're doing the roundup. Over there is the earlier home site and this is everything we got including the junk I think this is a damper cover um, I think this was a handle to a bucket all the nails and screws foil galore over there I don't I don't know aluminum siding and there's no aluminum siding on this on any houses around here not sure what that is. At first, I thought I was pulling out a lipstick cover, but it's too short. Hook. By the way, gate hook. And you saw the earring. I think that's what it probably is, is an earring. Baby spoon handle. Come on, focus thing. Baby spoon handle. This was cool. I couldn't believe I found this. This is one of the arms on a kerosene lantern that hold the glass hurricane onto it. Only this is a huge one. This one's got to be four, four and a half inches long. I did find one zincan. This washer, now that I look at it, kind of has a design on it, so I'm going to take it home and clean it up. I'll let you know if it ended up having anything on it. Several ointment tubes. Shards of china. Part of a toy car. Lots of iron. Copper. These were the best finds of the day. Man, I love this button gonna try to do some research on it that just almost looks like keys hanging from that bow but I'm not sure so I'm gonna do some research on that see what we can find so remember you don't always find good stuff every time you go out 
You got to be patient. You got to dig it all, as you can see. Because you never know what you're going to pull up on an old site. It could be an iron relic, and you won't know unless you dig the iron. So be patient. Get out there and find some treasure, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching, commenting, and sharing. Your support helps my channel grow.